We have team coverage tonight as we continue to learn more about the incident and Bryant Gladney himself. Erica McGuire talked with a witness who stopped to help direct traffic after that first crash. ABC 17 News was provided dash camera video of the crash in question here. We have decided not to show the impact of this, but we do want to warn you that what you're about to hear is from a witness who saw it all go down. On his way home for the holidays, Good Samaritan Larry Bowling stopped to help direct traffic after a box truck crashed on I-70 east of Columbia around 4 a.m. Wednesday. In this video, you can see Bowling waving traffic through just before the fatal crash. A short time later, this dash cam video shows Assistant Chief Bryant Gladney's cruiser parked and two men standing next to his SUV. Bowling says it was just minutes later that the driver of a semi failed to slow down, launching Bowling to the ground and ultimately crashing into Gladney's SUV. I see this truck come over the hill and I could tell that he was more than 70 miles an hour. No doubt in my mind. But when he come by me, he blowed me down face first. That's how, I mean, two inches he could run over my toes. We are not showing the moment of impact, but in this video, seconds after the crash, you can see two people who fled as the driver of the big rig slammed into Gladney's cruiser. Moments later, Bowling says the driver got out of his 18-wheeler and asked him if there were any injuries. He asked me, he said, I, did I hurt anyone? And I said, you killed the officer in that emergency vehicle right there. And he started saying, oh my God, oh my God. And he sat down and uh, he said, I was trying to stop, man. I said, B.S., that's the most irresponsible thing that I've probably seen in 34 years out here on the road. That's what I've been driving. Bowling says fire rescue on scene took action. Just a few firemen took a deal that pops the door open. That's all they had to do. I mean, you look at the car, you can see the, that door was still easy to get to. And they, they popped it open and got him out and put him on a stretcher. Bowling says everyone needs to slow down and be safe, and his thoughts go out to Gladney's family. But I want his family to know I, I send my deepest condolences and all of them because it's just the wrong time of the year for stuff like this to happen. Reporting in Boone County, Erica McGuire, ABC 17 News. That's some really intense descriptions and video there of the scene. Erica, thank you very much.